guys, it's Sarah here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick bonus message because we weren't able to do a spark message on Sunday due to Easter. So today is Wednesday, uh, March 30th, 2016. And I am sitting in the gym parking lot. I'm getting ready to run in and, and teach my fitness class. But something happened to me today that I thought was important to share with you. And my quick topic is, um, are you building your brand as the Jamberry lady. Okay, so what do I mean about that? Well, I'm a school teacher and while I was at work today, my phone was off. And when I got home, uh, when I got done with class today and I, I turned on my phone, I had a uh, Facebook message request. And think about what that means. That's somebody that's not my friend, but um, wants to have a chat with me. Um, oh, somebody just posted a message that says my gym class is waiting for you. Oh, they have a few minutes. I've, I've got a few minutes. <laughs> Killing some time here in the parking lot, right? Okay, anyway, so I had this message request uh, waiting for me from somebody I didn't know. And um, I noticed that we had tons of mutual friends. Uh, so I scoped out our mutual friends and I accepted the friend request. And wouldn't you know it, but the message said, hey, I'm thinking about getting some um, Jamberry products and some of my friends are too. Would it be beneficial to host a party? And wouldn't you know, I jumped on that. I was like, absolutely. And I, you know, explained to her the benefits of, of hosting a party and, um, you know, thanked her for contacting me. And I said, by the way, um, I saw that we have a ton of mutual friends. Remind me if we've actually met or if it's just the fact that we have tons of mutual friends. And uh, when she messaged back, uh, we were in the process of planning a party that quick. How awesome is that? But she said, oh, actually, I posted on my Facebook page um, that I wanted to get in contact with the Jamboree lady. And um, does anybody have any referrals? And um, your name came up somebody tagged you and so that's how I found you and so after I had you know gotten done with that conversation and you know I, I friended her uh, I saw that one of my friends Kate had uh, recommended me she is um, somebody that is a friend of mine but not a super close friend I don't see her a lot She's bought a, a few times for me before, isn't a regular jam wearer, but she likes the product. And it just goes to show that um, I have branded myself as the Jamberry Lady. I am Kate's Jamberry Lady. I'm so many people's Jamberry Lady. And even though Kate isn't a regular user of Jamberry, um, I'm her lady and so I will take care of her and I have taken care of her in the past and so how awesome that just that quick she was the first one to reply to say Sarah's my Jamboree lady you should use her and so I just felt really confident that um, I am continuing to build my brand um, I stand out in people's minds even though um, you know Kate doesn't, you know, order all of the time, but you know, and, and maybe that sparks something for her. Maybe she'll want to order again in the future or through this particular friend's party. So I challenge you to think about, are you building your brand? Are you known as the Jamberry lady for, for people? You want to be that person. You want to leave that impression and you want people to see you as the Jamberry lady, even if they aren't particularly interested in the products, but they know that you're the Jamberry lady and they will recommend you and they will name drop for you. And um, what an amazing way to build your business. What an amazing way to get yourself out in your cold market um, just by simple referrals. So I challenge you, continue to build your brand. Thanks for watching.